Hello traders and welcome back to Trading with Bill Options and Forex. Please come visit me at tradingwithbill.com helping losing traders become winning traders. Traders, great to be with you. We are in Thailand. Absolutely unbelievable sunny skies today, monsoon yesterday, and we have sunny blue skies, beautiful white sandy beaches, and another great day in paradise. Traders, great to be with you. Let me introduce myself to you. That'll only take about five seconds. My name is William K. Gilday, and I am, well, what they call me is Bill. Traders, I've been trading from 2006, and in 2008, I got on the big airplane, came to Thailand on a three-month tourist visa, and never went home. It's 2014. I'm still here, and I am trading full-time since the day I actually landed in Pattaya, Thailand. And I just love what I do. I love being in front of my charts. I love analyzing. I love, um, I don't know, just um, trying to figure out what the market's going to do because we all know that the market is right 100% of the time. Traders, today we're going to talk about some currency pairs. Got about five charts to look at. And also, we're going to do um, an option update on my Spiders, which is the S&P 500 trade give you an update on that and tell you how that's going. You can take a peek at that. So that's what's going on today, and it's really great to be back in the uh, saddle again with Internet, Electric, and Sunny Skies. All right, traders, let's get the legal stuff out of the way. This is our risk disclaimer. Forex and options trading has a large potential of rewards, but also a large potential of risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the Forex markets. Sorry, traders, I had to pause the video there for a second. My news guy is back, and I haven't heard from him in like an hour and a half. And I start recording, and he starts talking, as usual, but I just turned him off. Okay, so, um, where were we? Uh, yay. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the Forex and options markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Traders, if you're sitting on the edge of the seat, biting your nails because you're going to trade and it's going against you, I think you might want to relook at that, take a deep breath, and maybe go to a demo account. If you can get demo accounts at Forex and options platforms, you can get a demo account. Until you can trade comfortably with your financial situation in the Forex market. All right, traders, let's get to it. We got work to do. And this is our options update. Yeah, that's been me for the last four days. Rain, rain, clouds, rain, and more rain. Yeah, that's me. All right, let's move on. This is our spider chart. This is the S&P 500. And I want you to take a couple of notes here. If you took look at the two red lines on my chart, remember we took a um, bull put and we sold a vertical on that. And we entered the trade at 192. And we have our insurance, basically, and we bought the same three contracts at 190. So if the trade was to go drastically against us, we would actually try to not take as big as a hit as we normally would because we would be in the trade in the opposite direction. But that is not the case today, traders. Look at our DNA, which is the first indicator on the bottom of the chart. Look at that blue line. Is that not a beauty? straight to the upside and take a look at our stochastics beautiful straight to the upside just really working out well um, so our trade is doing well remember Friday at New York this option will expire so we'll have to take a look at that I will look at the New York open today and we'll take a look and see where we're at. And let me show you where we're at currently on the next, here we go. This is where we're at now. And we're doing well. We're, what is that, $58 um, in profit. And that includes commissions and stuff, so we're doing quite well there. And we just want this to move up. The, the S&P 500 closed yesterday at 0.77% to the uh, in the green, which was a really nice bump up there and it was really something I was looking at my charts yesterday and I got into the um, 
into this trade. I, I mentioned it yesterday in my video that I got into the trade before the market opened. And um, I'm sort of glad that I did. <laughs> um, thank you, Mr. Monsoon, or Mrs. Monsoon, <laughs> for coming and making me go to my charts early. But yeah, it um, worked out kind of kind of good. And uh, we're in the trade. And, you know, remember, there's three ways options move. It either moves up, it moves down, and they expire. So those are the three facts of options. And as long as we understand that, we'll be okay. And we will do what we need to do to make sure we don't lose and at least get out at break even. All right, traders, here we go. Forex charts. Why don't you grab a cup of coffee and join me? I'm going to go over some uh, Forex charts and some trade plans, and here we go. Traders, I had somebody sent me a message saying they were wondering what my desktop looks like um, when my charts are, when I'm just scanning charts. And these are the eight currency charts that I scan on a regular basis. And I, I just took this uh, screenshot, so that's why you see all the arrows and lines on those charts that we're going to go over here in just a second. And I, um, that's what I look at during the day, and I just wanted to show you that. And yes, I do use NinjaTrader platform. I think it's absolutely the best. I um, encourage you to take a look at it, and if nothing else, get their demo account and their, their free stuff for one month and check it out. I think you really enjoy it. And they um, work with over 100 brokers, so there's a good chance your broker is in there, and you can trade live off of these charts. All right, let's get going. We've got work to do. Here's the Aussie dollar. This is a, a really nice setup. We were looking at this actually in Asia, right at the Tokyo Open, um, which was silly o'clock in the morning for me. But yes, um, this is working out really well. This is bullish. The This is uh, giving us, if you look at a daily chart, it's uh, the last four or five days, it's given us higher highs and higher lows. So we're back in the mode here with a bullish Aussie. And basically what happened here is you can see that not the current candle, but the candle before that, you can see that there's a big green candle and it popped through the um, settlement um, deviation level. So I really like to see this pull back and let's get a pull back, even if it's a little one, and then we can take this up and you can see where I have my shadow triangle box there we want to pull back to and there's anywhere in that box we want to take it and then get back out there. But I would like to see, see it to pull back. Yeah, I mean, you can enter it now, it's not, it's not a bad entry. But that green dashed line on my chart is the high of the day, so it's it's just um, spiked today's high. So we need to keep an eye on that. But like I said, I'd like to see a pullback. Give us a pullback, and we can jump in this in the other direction. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here we go. We got the pound gen, the good old beast. Beast has been in a range. Even the daily chart doesn't look very um, appetizing, but it is bullish, and we are in a range on the one hour chart here. I'd really like to see again, I'd like to see this come down to the bottom of this range, give us a bullish candlestick formation, and we could take this up. And I think that would be a great trade. Either way, if you get a bullish candlestick formation, I think you can take this to the long side. We do have a settlement level there that we got to get through. I don't think that's going to be an issue. And remember, if we get a bullish candlestick formation, we're above that settlement level, there's like a 78% chance that this is going to go to the next deviation level up on your chart, which is awesome, right? So we want to take a look at that. Look at your Williams R percent indicator on the bottom of the chart there. It looks like it's going flat, but it looks like it's starting to curl up a little bit. We want to see that. Okay, so not a bad trade setup on the pound yen. Let's take a look at the euro dollar again. Um, we want to see this pullback. You need to see a pullback. And we know at 1.3600, that level has been awesome for a long time to get bounces off either going up or going down, and if we can get that pullback to that 3,600, we'll get a nice bounce there, and we can take that long, just one bullish candlestick, and we're in, right, and just take that bad boy to the upside. So um, the euro is looking good. Actually, I'm starting to, um, might start trading the euro. You know, I haven't been trading the euro for a long time because it was already, you know, trading like 44 pips a day. It's up to 55 pips a day now. It's, it's average um, daily range. Uh, is 55 pips, which is good. You know, I like to trade pairs that are at least um, 80 pips and above because that puts probability in my side that this is going to work. A pair that's trading 40, 35 pips, I mean, do not get in that. You know, it's just not going to work. You, well, it might work, but your probabilities are not in your favor. All right, so that's what's going on with that. Um, I think the euro dollar is a good trade setup. You know, let's see if this thing can um, bang back a little bit and see how it goes. All right. Let's take a look at our last chart of the day. This is our Aussie N. This is a nice, another nice trade setup here. 
Um, we have some nice resistance, which I put on the chart for you. And you can see the all one up top there. And we have a, um, a settlement region, another area of resistance. So we want to see this pull back into our range. And that's our Fibonacci range down there, right? You got our three fibs there. Get into that box there, and let's take this to the upside. Don't know if we're going to get that pullback, but let's hope we do. We'll see, Aussie is pretty bullish, and it still remains bullish on other Aussie pairs. So we'll have to keep a pretty good eye on that. But I think it's looking good. I think the second part of London morning, we might be able to get in there and uh, get this trade to the upside. All right. Uh, News-wise, just a real quick brief, we just have one piece of... Um, Pound data coming out in London session. All right, traders, I want to thank you, my friends, for joining me. And please leave a comment on the YouTube page, or you can always go to my website at tradingwithbill.com and leave a message, suggestion, criticism, um, you know, anything you want to put in there. We would just want to make it better. This is for everybody. This is for me. This is for you. And if you need something or you want something in the daily presentation that I'm not doing, go it in there and uh, we can work together. And like I said, we just want to be winning traders and we want to be a profit. And that's what it's all about. So traders, again, thank you very much. Live from Bataya, Thailand, sunny skies and bright sandy beaches. Traders, have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow. Take care now. Bye-bye.